In this video, we're going to work out the surface area of a rectangular block of width 3, height 4, and length 10 meters. Okay? So, how we start this off is we take each individual section at a time. So, each side of the rectangle, and we work out the area of that. So I'm going to start with this left hand side here. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. I'm going to start with this side. And I think to see it better, I'm actually going to imagine that I just take this side away and I'm going to draw it down here. Okay, so it's just a rectangle. Now I'll, draw, I'll highlight it yellow as well. So just to keep everything the same. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to look at that and I'm going to work out what's the, what's the width of that rectangle. Well, the width of it is this bit down here. What's that? It's 10. So we have 10 meters down there. And what's the height of it? What's this? Well, it's the same as this, which is the same as this. So it's four. Okay, now how would I work out the area of that? I would say the height by the width. So height by width, which is 4 by 10, which is 40 meters squared. So that's that first side done. But if I imagine the rectangular block and I could see through the rectangular block, I can see that there's another side over here that's actually the exact same dimensions as that. The far side, that would be the same. I'm just gonna highlight that yellow for a moment. So there's essentially, there's another one of these. There's another one of these areas over here on this side. So I need to multiply that by two. And I've got 80 meters squared now. So now I've done two sides. I've done those two yellow sides. I've worked out the area, the surface area of those. So I'm going to delete those colors now so that you can see better. And I'm going to focus on another side. I'm going to do the front. Okay, I'm going to highlight that in this kind of purple. It's front up here. Very front rectangle. Now I'm going to, just like previously, I'm going to draw that down here. What's the height of it? Well, the height of it is here, it's in front of me, it's 4. And what's the width of it? The width of it is 3. And I might as well highlight that pink as well, or purple, or whatever color that is. Now I need to work out the area of that side. So the area, <coughs> just like before, is the height by the width, which is 4 by 3, which is 12 meters squared. Okay, so that's the area of that purple side. But just like before, there's actually another side in my block that has the same dimensions as that. And it's the back. That is the exact same shape rectangle back here. So there's two of them. There's two of those rectangles in that block. So I need to get the answer that I just found and times it by 2. And that's 24 meters squared. So now I have those two, the left and right hand sides. I've now got the front and the back. And there's one last little bit I need to work out. So I'll delete those colors so that I can see this a little bit better. And I will highlight in blue. And of course, it's the bottom. The 
bottom of the rectangle. The bottom of that rectangular block is also a rectangle shape. So let me draw that over here. So this is where people get a little bit confused, the measurements. So I need to go slowly now. First of all, I need to work out what's this side. Well, it's the same as this side, isn't it? And that side is three. So we've got three meters there. And what is the width of it? It's the same as this side, which is 10. So I've got 10 there. So what would the area of that be? I'm gonna highlight it in blue so you can just see what I'm talking about. The area, just like before, how do you work out the area of a rectangle? Height by width, which is three by 10, which is 30 meters squared. And just like before, there is another side to that rectangular block that is the same as this, and it's the top. It's the exact same rectangle. So my answer here, I need to actually multiply that by 2. And I get 60 meters squared. So now I have all of the areas worked out to find the total surface area. I need to put my three answers together. I need to add them all together, okay? And when I add them all together, I get 164 meters squared. That's the total surface area of that rectangular block. So just to recap, I first found the area of the side part. That's it there, 40. I then times my answer by two because there's actually two of those rectangles, one over there and one there, and I got 80. Then I found the area of the front part here. There it is there, 12. And I times it by two because there's another one of those rectangles at the very back. Okay, and I know that's getting a bit confusing with color, but I hope you can understand and I got 24 then I finally found the area of the very top and bottom rectangle down here which you can't really see now down there and I got 30 but I times my answer by 2 because there's another one of those rectangles on the very top and in total I got 60 so I added all three answers to get the total surface area and my answer is 164 meters squared. Okay, hope that helped.